I wanted to show you some of the new routing capabilities that come with SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D. There's a new toolbar that allows you to route wires, route harness, and route cables. I'm going to show you route wires and route cables today. You simply hit route wires, select whether you want a SOLIDWORKS route or a 3D sketch. This 3D sketch is very handy because it allows you to simplify the design that's being done and does not take much overhead. And SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D will automatically route the wires through the ducting following paths to the closest area of the next pin. This can be incredibly helpful for figuring out the lengths of the individual wires for electrical design such as this. The functionality works in a very similar way for routing cables. In this case, I'm going to route a motor on this other side of the conveyor. And for this example, I'm going to use the full SOLIDWORKS route. Select OK. And SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D will automatically route a cable from our motor with split wires and individual conductors coming out the end through the individual ducts and over to our cabinet. It will even split the ends of the cable and go into the terminal strip. When I first saw this, I thought it looked like magic, but it actually follows a very simple path. All we have to do is modify that path by adding new lines, and SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D will adjust our route path. We simply just need to rim the cables one more time, and SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D will rerun the path using my new sketch line. Let's take a quick look at some of these results. Because I drew a line crossing this gap between the ducts, SOLIDWORKS Electrical will now span that gap and result in a shorter wire length. This is an editable route, so I can very easily go and manage and add sketch points or spline points and even manipulate them with regular sketch triads. So as you can see, SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D adds some really nice functionality to SOLIDWORKS routing to help you route in a more effective way.